Thank you for joining us on the Financial Pastor Podcast, where we discuss everyday truth from God's Word and how it applies to our daily living. And hope this will help you, encourage you, draw you closer to the Lord. God bless. Welcome back to the podcast, guys. Appreciate you joining us at Financial Pastor. Uh, looking at Joshua chapter 3 today, we've been going through the book of Joshua. Remember, he is taken over from Moses. As the leader, he's going to lead them into the promised land. It's the place where God wanted them to be. Uh, it wasn't going to be easy. There were enemies there. There were problems there. There were problems bigger than they could handle. And at this moment, they're facing a huge obstacle. They're in, in front of the Jordan River. At this time in chapter 3, the Jordan River's flooded, springtime. And so there's no way for them to cross uh, without some help. It's impossible for all of the families, all of the animals, all of the people to cross the Jordan River, which God said, you're going to do the land that I want you to um, take, the land I want you to claim is across the Jordan River. So God had told him he wanted them to do it. There's a problem in their way and they need some help. And so for three days they camp out and God uh, shows them there's no way possible that they can overcome their problem. They're going to need some help. That help's going to come uh, through faith, through belief, and just doing what God says. You know, that for us, is the biggest obstacle we face. We, we're living life, everything's going fine until we see a huge problem come up in our life. And a lot of times we think it's too insurmountable, it's too big, um, there's no way we can overcome it. And we can it on our own. You know, life uh, will chew you up and spit you out. And that's why you gotta have Jesus Christ as your savior. You gotta believe in him. You gotta believe that God um, has what's best for you. And you have to stay close to him to access that power. It's like being plugged into a, an outlet and your phone charges only when it's plugged into the power source. And when you're plugged into God through his word, through prayer, he will lead you. He will guide you. He will get you through your problems. He will not take your problems away. A life's about getting through problems. Um, it's about climbing the mountains, staying on the mountains. And uh, it's the ups and downs, the peaks and the valleys. God's growing you. God's molding you into the person that he has designed you to be. And so in Joshua, he says here in verse number nine, chapter three, Joshua said to the children of Israel, come and hear the words of the Lord. And Joshua said, by this, you shall know the living God is among you, that he will without fail drive out before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, and he goes through all uh, other enemies. But the key to that is listen to the word of God. He will not fail. Without fail, he'll drive out your enemies. The word of God, which is the Bible, without fail is the truth. It tells you exactly what you need to know to succeed in life, to have victory. I'm talking about victory for eternity. I'm talking about uh, having joy and uh, blessing the Lord of all times, even through trials. Only found in the word of God. I promise you, God will not fail you. We can read about that in First Kings where God has not one time uh, said something that did not happen. God does not lie. God does not deceive. He tells the truth. He's for you. He loves you. He's long-suffering. You have to believe it, and you have to move forward. There's enemies. There's obstacles that you're going to have to go through, and you're going to, by faith, need God's help to do that. Joshua says we're going to rely on God, and this is the plan that we're going to take. This is what God tells us to do. We're going to follow it. He says, uh, verse 14, when the people set out from their camp to cross over Jordan with the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant, for the people, and as those who bore the ark came to the Jordan, the feet of the priest who bore the ark dipped in the edge of the water, and the waters which came down from upstream stood still and rose in a heap very far away at Adam. So what happened? Here was the plan. God said, you're going to have to get your feet wet. I want the priest, not the mighty men of valor. I want the priest, I want the wimpy guys like me, a preacher, to lead the way with the ark of the covenant. That's a symbol that I'm going before you. Do you believe God is for you? Do you believe that God's going to conquer your battles? I'm going to go before you. You're going to have to get your feet wet. I'm going to do the impossible thing, but you're going to have to do the possible. There's something you can do that's going to show me that you have faith, that you believe. And when you stick your feet in that flooded waters that you know is impossible to cross, I'm going to do the impossible. I'm going to part that water. You're going to walk across on dry land, and it's going to show the people that without fail, today you're going to see the power of God, and it's going to build confidence. You know what? In our life, we got to get our feet wet. I don't know what it is you're going through in your life. Maybe you're stuck. But God's, God's working in your heart on a decision you need to make, something you need to do, and you're just not moving forward with it. 
you got to take that step forward. God wants to see you move forward for him immediately. We can all grow. Uh, we can all take the next step. Whatever your next step is, take it for the Lord. The children of Israel was facing an impossible situation. The enemies were bigger. The river was flooded. And they just simply said, you know what? God wants us to take this land. He's told us that. We believe him. We take him at his word. And we're just taking the next step. We're going to get our feet wet. And that's the next step. And God miraculously parted the waters and they walked across. In our life, we got to get our feet wet. Uh, if you've never been saved, you know what you got to do? You got to step out by faith and realize Jesus Christ came from heaven, died, buried, rose again for your sin. You admit you're a sinner. You believe Jesus died. You confess him as Lord and you surrender your life to him. That's all through the Bible. Next thing you need to do is get baptized. Really, literally get your feet wet. Uh, you get out in the water and you identify in baptisms like the Old Testament circumcision where you're saying, you know what? Jesus died for me, I'm surrendering to him and I wanna show the world the outward expression of an inward belief I have. I believe in Jesus. I believe he's the son of God and he died for me. And uh, you go into the water symbolizing the uh, death, burial and resurrection. And you come out of the water uh, showing to walk in newness of life that Jesus was resurrected. And so if you've never been baptized, you take that next step, you just do it. Uh, we'd love to baptize you. You can contact me. We can talk through that. If you've been saved, that's the next step. Uh, maybe it's uh, joining the church. Maybe it's reading your Bible. Um, it's praying. Um, it's uh, loving one another. It's uh, attending church. Uh, it is all of these things that you can do. Find some good podcasts. Um, if you're listening to this one, we, we appreciate it. I'm here to try to encourage you, to help you. Uh, stick to it. Don't try, train, uh, train. You want to be the best husband, you want to be the best wife, best kids, best worker, uh, best representative for Jesus, you're in training. Training is every day you got to do certain things so you become better. And the plan is I need to make sure I've got set aside time to read the Bible, listen to it, make sure I'm understanding it. Uh, a chapter a day keeps the devil away. A chapter a day, I'll read the whole New Testament in one year. Powerful, will change your life. We got some examples to help you with that. Uh, we've got a couple podcasts. We've got one that comes out every Thursday, Victory Baptist. You can listen, uh, starting with the book of John, every week. It'll help you grow. You just need to be growing. So when that problem comes, when those Jebusites, those Hittites come, when the Jordan River comes, and it looks like it's too big of a problem for you to handle, it's overwhelming, that you can um, understand that I can do all things through Christ. He gives me the strength. He strengthens me. I just have to focus on him. I have to take the next step with him and get my feet wet. And that's what Joshua did. That's what the children of Israel did. Uh, they did what they said they were going to do. They followed through. Chapter 1, I think it's verse 16. Yep, they said, the people answered and said, all that you commanded us, we will do. That's what God wants. Just do what he says. Just read his word. Just follow it. It's, it's hard. Christian life, sometimes uh, short-term pain, long-term gain. I promise you, if you put in the time, just like practicing for football, baseball, like practicing for singing, uh, practicing to become a better cook. Whatever practice you do, you uh, it benefits you. If you put in the time for God, um, it'll benefit you. And I pray you'll do that. All right. Hope you have a good day and God bless. Thanks so much for listening to the Financial Pastor Podcast. Uh, if you have more questions or like to reach out to me, feel free to do so through email, brandon at alcova.com. Uh, you can also go to our website, victorybaptistcf.org. Also on Facebook, you can find us. And we'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. And remember, uh, to be encouraged, God loves you. God's got a plan for you. Just continue to walk closer to Him. God